Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me coming to three of the weekly contest for 25 minimum away sum. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Um, honestly, the first thing you should do with these problems, um, and it's kind of like, in a way, it's brute force -y, right? Or maybe your first intuition is brute force, and my first intuition is brute force. And the first thing to look at for a brute force problem is what is constrained so that we can brute force it. Or in a similar way, can we dynamic programming it? So look at the constraints. Notice that n is equal to 100. Okay, n is equal to 100, uh, op 1 is equal to 100, or at most 100, op 2 is at most 100. That means that if we do n by op 1, op 2, it's going to be fast enough. And from that on, I didn't think about anything else and just wrote the dynamic programming problem. Uh, for this problem, um, and you can think about it in a brute force kind of way, but um, so I'm not going to go over the dynamic programming too hard. I implemented top down with memorization and we'll go over the, the recurrence. But again, um, you need to have dynamic programming prerequisite for this problem. So definitely work on that if, 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 if this video isn't good enough for you. Uh, and you know, there are other videos. It's fine. But yeah. Uh, yeah, so here we have three things. Index is the um, the current index we are considering. I think one more thing I want to say is noticing that, okay, keeping in mind that we can only do operation of this once, this only once, right? That's already also like a thing that uh, that uh, flashes things in my eye, or both, right? Or both. But still, there are only two things, four possibilities of binary in and out, so that should be good. And then the other thing is that um, keeping in mind that every nums index is independent, uh, meaning that you, if you do an operation to one number, it doesn't affect future numbers, it doesn't um, affect previous numbers, right? So uh, the only way that it does is for op1, op2, so, so we already keep track of that. So the, okay, so with those things in mind, yeah, index is the current index that we're considering. O1 is the number of of ones we can do, O2 is the number of op twos we can do. And I think it's easy to mess up this one. Um, I took about six minutes on this problem, but I think there are other ways you can write this honestly, but I think it's all going to be similar with different recursion or whatever. But, uh, but yeah, uh, first we, we want to minimize, so we set it to infinity. And then here we go, okay. Um, we do nothing, right? This is the don't use any operations. And then the cost is going to be numbers of index because that's the sum contribution to the end, right? And then this one is use operation one. And this is straightforward, same thing. This is the contribution, which is that you divide it by two, right? And this is use operation two. Again, this is basically, the, you know, what they tell you, right? If we have an operation and that this is big enough for we to use it, for us to use it, um, this is the cost, right? And then here is the case where use operation 1 and 2, right? And so this is the constraints, right? If we have both the cost and the numbers um, sub-index, then, then we, we uh, use 1 and 2. I don't know that I... You could probably solve for this, um, but I just did it this way. Um, basically, as first means uh, I did the um, subtraction first terrible rare names, but you know, this is contest. So we do subtraction first. Uh, so this is the cost, we do subtraction first. We subtract, um, actually this is, oh, we always check that this is greater than or equal to K. So this is why, I, okay, remember that. So subtract and then divide it by two. And this is divide first, right? And we just divide and I don't know, th there's probably like you could solve for this because it's a very easy formula, but I don't want to solve for anything during contest. I just want to, you know, get this in in six minutes or seven minutes and done. And this is how I did it. And then I do the min, right? So then I do the min of subtraction first or divide first. And I don't want to prove anything. And then if this is better than best, we update it. And that's pretty much it. Those are all the possibilities of things we can do, right? four cases you have two operations each of them can be binary so two to the two so four different types so one two three four you can check it um, and then of course in this case technically there are two sub cases so you do that as well and that's pretty much it uh, and then we kick it off with zero as the index up one and up two as the input right as the number of things that we can do and that's it and that's pretty much it so what's the complexity here right like I said this is going to be old to a this is going to be from zero to a hundred this is from 0 to 
index, I guess, or to n, whatever, but 0 to 100, and 0 to 100 as well. So in the worst case, it's going to be 100 cubed, which is a million, which is fine, because we only do uh, at most four recursions, right? So one, two, three, four, and and a number of like uh, operations on top, but all of one generally. So yeah, so all of 100 cubed time and space which is all of n times o of 1 times of 2 space and time, or time and space. And that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. I'm going to make it slightly so smaller so that you could see everything in the window, kind of, maybe, uh, close enough. I think this is a good action. Yeah, and that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And you can watch me solve it live during a contest next. I did extra stuff to make it work, you know. I feel like that should, like that's just an understanding thing, right? And I don't know why they did it that way, but uh, silly mistake. Oh well. I mean, I was rushing a little bit, honestly, as well. But still, that, that's just not great. How many people have we gotten in so far? 388. Wow, that is actually way fast. And I'm really slow and five minute penalty. So I have to kind of make up for the time. Anyone solved the hard yet? One person solved the hard, I'm really slow. But someone may have done it the other way. All right, let's read the poem. Choose index I. Divided by two, up one, up two is less than n, n is a hundred. Okay, so maybe it's dp. Yeah, it seems like it's straight for a TP. Right. They could both same index. Okay, I mean, that's fine. Whoops, no, this is minus K.
If I have to do them in any order. If I guess so. Subtract first and divide first. Be that big? No, numbers could be pretty big. Doesn't matter. That's four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, forty-eight, sixty-four, ninety, whatever. I did a math wrong. I don't got fast enough. I mean, 100 should be that much slower. Alright, let's go. YOLO. I am super not confident nowadays. Okay. Just no confidence these days. Uh, okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this farm, this contest, everything in between. Stay good, stay healthy, do your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.